Hello everybody and welcome to my Blood Bowl 3 Black Orc Guide. So this is a new team for Blood Bowl 3 and uh, the second season of Blood Bowl Tabletop. And uh, they're pretty interesting, right? They're uh, lizard men with minus two movement on everybody. <laughs> Which is a significant downgrade. However, um, they do get to start with a reserve and an extra reroll compared to lizard men. Lizard men's build has been a... Uh, kind of, you know, severely impacted in the new rules. They've been made a bit more expensive, which means they only get to start with a one reroll if they start with a Croxagore. Um, so the Black Orcs get to start with a Troll and a 12th Man and a second reroll. So they, they get like, they've got some, uh, they've got some things to make up for the fact that they're not Lizard Men. <laughs> so they've got a, they've got a Troll here as the big guy rather than a, a Croxagore. And it's obviously the the troll is a lot worse than a Croxigo. Um He's got projectile vomit, which is a new skill. It's not very good. Um, you're very, very rarely going to use it, but you know you will get some use out of it sometimes. They can throw the goblins, which is quite good, right? I, I scored a throw teammate in the in the beta testing. Um, like it, it's possible. It, it's it's low odds, but at least you've got that one turn chance. Um, obviously, really stupid is really bad, especially when you're only movement four. Um, so yeah, if you're not familiar with the, how the stats have changed, um, Agility 1 has now become 5+, plus because that's what you'd need to roll. Um, passing Ability is, an, is a separate skill from Agility from throwing the ball, and AV 10+, plus is just basically what you need to roll to beat them rather than 9, you know, so it, what, everything that was AV 9 is now AV 10+, plus, so that's a thing there. Uh, they have got a 3+, plus loner, which is, which is like a little bit better, like loner is now defined in the uh, in the skill what they are so they're a little bit better loners than uh, crocs goes or whatever and they got mighty blow but yeah they're really stupid the, the big weakness is they're really stupid in the movement fall um, they've got strength as primary so you're probably just going to go you know guard as your first skill then you probably want to go uh, probably brawler right uh, it, it depends a, a lot of skilling up is going to depend on what format you're in um, so for like the Blood Bowl 3 ladder, they're not going to, well, Blood Bowl 3 all together, they're not, they're not going to have redrafting. So that really changes things because then you've got to think about what you want at all, right? Um, it's, just, it's just weird, right? Redrafting and no redrafting is totally different. Redrafting to a 1300 limit is totally different. Um, redrafting in a 13 game season with no, with no cap is totally different. Um... There's all sorts of things. Leveling is, is going to be really situational because, like, if you're in a league with somebody, you know, where somebody else is really good or whatever, and you've really got to get a result against them, then you're going to just take random skills and everybody. If you can get away without picking skills versus people, then you can get away without picking skills. So it's, it, how you skill people up is going to be really weird. Um, obviously, they'd love block, but block's 40 TV. And when you're getting a bribe for 50 TV, which is what Black Orcs get with their special rule, um, is it worth is it worth blocking your troll to get a, to get an extra bribe? You know, probably not. I think guard is worth 20, and I think you know if you want a skill to let them hit, then brawler is probably just better um, than block a lot of the time because it's cheaper and you get it faster. So it's it's interesting, right? You know, it's it's more SPPs to get the block. And, and while you're saving those SPPs and having nothing, you could have just had guard for like a few games. Um, uh, random is not really what you want to go for in these guys. Um, not all of the skills were implemented on, on the beta here, um, and you can't see them anyway what you get. So it doesn't really matter much. But um, what you're going to want is you really want guard. And, uh, you know, you'd, you'd like block, but it's not really essential. Guard and stand firm, I guess, are the two, the two like, and maybe brawler, right? But there's certainly an argument for just getting guard and then saving for block. But it's it is going to be really situational. But but I think they're the ones that you're looking at is block, guard, stand firm essentially for the troll. Okay, so here's the uh, the like meat of the team if you like the the Saurus equivalent. Um, they are agility four plus. But they are movement four, so they're they're really slow. Like the team as a whole is really slow, right? You've got seven movement four players, one of which is really stupid. So you're very very slow. But grab makes up for a lot of that slowness. Um, it is actually 
it's surprisingly good having the grab spam like you got six of these guys that they can free each other up very well to, and, and you know obviously you've got to be careful where you position them with only movement four but the grab can get them out of like kind of bad spots and stuff you know if you've with Saurus, it's all about freeing them up with blocks, and with grab, you can you can free you can all, probably always free people up like uh, a lot easier than you could. So that, that's going to be that's going to be really really interesting having the grab, and brawl. It does mean that they need rerolls less. They are going to uh, like not that much. It's it's not as good as block, obviously, but it does get you some extra knockdowns that you wouldn't have got with block. It does save you some turnovers. Um, it basically lets them survive on the two rerolls. That's that's the thing. Like they're, they're not in a great rush for the third reroll. You just got to play them conservatively, like you would with lizard men. Um, and then the brawler is going to get you out of some out of some pickles. Um, so yeah, I think I think the brawler and grab are really good. Um, is it worth is it worth it over a saurus? No, but they've got some good things going for them, um, and they do get general and strength on primary skills. So obviously you look I, now you could be looking at block first, but I think the obvious route to go is guard first. Um, with the, the cheap bribes that Black Orcs get, and now with guard affecting fouls as well, and having grab, you can easily grab people back into massive gang fouls, and then your guard can be used on those as well. And obviously just a wall of strength fall with guard is very powerful. Brawler alleviates the need for block a little bit. So I'd be inclined to go guard as your first skill chosen and then probably choose block and then probably just round them out with random skills, honestly. They, they're getting a decent amount of value from, from like, by taking brawl and grab already, there's there's three really good skills left. Now, obviously, if you've taken <laughs> if you've taken a guard, then you've only got two really good skills left out of nine. Um but realistically, it's going to take them a long time to skill up. I mean, obviously, Mighty Blow is is a massive one. Stand Firm is really good. So I guess you would go Guard, Block, Mighty Blow. I mean, maybe even Guard, Mighty Blow, right? Guard, guard Block, and Mighty Blow are generally interchangeable on Black Oaks in the current rules. Block does go down the pecking order with having Brawler already. And Stand Firm is really good. So you know, maybe maybe you'd select those four on normals and then go random just to get some value out of their SPPs because it's going to take a long time to level up overall. And uh, yeah, it's just it's just gonna you're gonna have to play a lot of this by ear depending on uh, how your league is. Uh, you know, redrafting all of that stuff. It's all going to factor in to uh, how you level your guys up. But the key ones definitely block, guard, Stand Firm, Mighty Blow. And maybe dodge, right? You know, that, that's an option to save up for the secondary, but I think that's going to be too much TV. I think TV is going to be key here. In in Blood Bowl 3 in general, um, TV is going to be key, but especially teams that get 50k bribes, because that bribe could, you know, end up, you could end up devastating a team with this extra bribe. And here's the skink replacement. It's a goblin. And goblins are a lot worse than skinks, because they've got minus two movement. But these goblins are goblin bruisers, and they get thick skull, and that's pretty good. Like that is that is not bad, and, and obviously they're cheaper than skinks. So you are getting twelve players on your team. You you are much more likely to foul with goblins than you are with skinks because you know they're worth so much less. It's not so bad if you lose them, um, and you know they only get agility on primaries. So I think probably saving up SPPs is probably good. And then go for dirty player. You could go for sneaky kit first, um, but essentially, the, if you're taking double, like, well, uh, secondary skills, it's it's almost a better deal to get them first. Not really. The thing is, every they all, all the skills cost more as you level up, but they, they level up. They cost the same as they go up, except stats cost even more uh, the higher you go, and um, random skills cost kind of um, less the higher you go up, like less comparatively less, as the, higher, the higher levels. So maybe just saving skills and then going dirty player. Um, and again, that's like, so in, in, this is kind of in a dream world, right? The, the, other, the other way you could just go, you could just take randoms, uh, just random agility. I don't think that's terrible, right? You're getting some, you're getting some benefit on the pitch there straight away. 
There really is so many options to the way to build players now. Um, sprint show feet, sidestep, you know, all those things are great for a ball carrier. You could just save up stats, get the movement eight, almost guaranteed. Well, I mean, it is guaranteed actually because you're guaranteed to be able to have movement, um, strength, agility, or whatever you want. So, you know, if you could have a movement eight, edge, edge two plus um, goblin, that's a pretty good goblin, right? Strength three, movement eight, Agility 2 plus, um, block, sure hands. That would be like a kind of a dream goblin. And, and that's possible, you know, like in, in Blood Bowl 3 without redrafts, that kind of player is going to cost a lot of TV. You probably wouldn't want the plus strength that it costs an 80 TV, to be honest. But, you know, movement 8 and edge 4 is going to be an, a hell of a goblin. Um, so, yeah, so, so there you go. There's the goblin bruisers. And yeah, that's the team. I think I like this. I think this is the only start I would ever run. Um, there is an argument for dropping the troll down to an extra goblin. And then that would maybe, you know, give you a third reroll or an apothecary. Um, because they are really slow. They're such a slow team. But then obviously, like lizard men, it's all about having the seven super strong players, isn't it? And if you haven't got those seven, then you just get massively massively weaker so i think you're gonna to have to bite the bullet go with a really really slow and responsive team play well maybe try to high roll at times with fouls but they're gonna be a very interesting team i think that the the brawler and and grab really makes them interesting to play and and you know quite a bit they're not just slow lizard men um <laughs> they are slower cheaper with a bit of spice, Lizard Men, and it's going to be very interesting to play them on Blood Bowl 3, if you're buying Blood Bowl 3 um, ever. So there you go. <laughs> and, you know, tabletop, and uh, there you are, yeah. <laughs> right, so that, that's it. That's that's the, that's uh, Black Orcs, Slow Lizard Men. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.